Hello and welcome to The Crazy Chef. And do we have a great episode today. We are going to make Delmonico's famous meatloaf. Now this is going to be a dish that needs these ingredients. And we're going to start with potato. My assistant is going to show you. See, that's a russet potato. A yellow onion. One onion. And a green bell pepper. Now remember, folks, about bell pepper. See, this is an irregular bell pepper. But that's another story. I'll tell you how you can get the perfect bell pepper the way it grows. Bell pepper, egg. You need some eggs. Remember chicken eggs. We are going to use a little granulated garlic like I always do, folks. It's good for your blood pressure. Some black pepper, ground black pepper we're going to use. And we're going to have some paprika in this one. I want you to look at that, folks. Paprika. Okay. Now, the other thing we need is some ketchup. We're going to have a ketchup. And then we're going to have some cream of chicken condensed soup. Now, you can use cream of mushroom. We're using cream of chicken because some people are, have a problem with mushrooms, fungi. They're good for you. But we're going to use cream of chicken. You can use cream of mushroom condensed. And if you have a, a bread pan, a nice pan like this to put your meatloaf in, this is always good. We're going to make a big order, so we're going to have a big pan. So now we're going to go to our mixing process. And one other ingredient that we need is breadcrumbs. we got to have some bre dry breadcrumbs. And you know what, folks? It'd be a good idea to have a little ground beef. Let's do the ground beef. Nice 80-20. We're going to use 80-20. You can use something leaner. 90-10. 95-5. But we're using 80-20. Now let's get our mixing going and let's get our meatloaf on the way, folks. All right. Here we go now. The bell pepper. My assistant is going to show you. You chop the bell pepper. And the onion. Do the same thing. You want to chop the onion and the eggs, you want to beat them ahead of time. Pre-beat them, folks. Now remember, I can't give you a measurement because it all depends on how much meat you got. We got quite a bit. We got four pounds, so we're going to be using a, a lot of uh, an onion and a half, actually, and almost two bell peppers. But if you like bell peppers, you love onions, just put it, go ahead and put a whole bunch in there. It doesn't hurt it. So now we're going to go to the mixing stage and we'll be back when it's all mixed. Okay, my lovely assistant has put all the ingredients in. Okay, as you can see. Now the secret to this Delmonico's meatloaf is, of course, the condensed chicken soup. And I told you, you can use cream of mushroom, but this is cream of chicken. Now, the only item we did not use, and that's the tomato ketchup that we're going to use after it's mixed. Now, the other trick is don't over mix it. We want this beef to be alive when we cook it. So the more you mix it, the more it's like yeast. You're going to kill the activation going on there. So don't mix it too much just to get those ingredients all in there. And then we'll be back and show you the next step. Okay, look at that. Now what we did, we used some parchment paper and we put our mixture down. As you can see, I'm using the spatula and I kind of worked it in there. Just like a Picasso, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be afraid. You're, we're all artists in our own way. Now, remember those hash browns? Those potatoes, we made them into hash browns. See that? You just get a grater and grate them down. We're going to spread them out on that meatloaf mixture. Get a nice mixture going here. See those? Beautiful. Nice. Hash browns. Now that's what makes it Delmonico's people. Nice. A little more over here I think my lovely assistant. A little more over here. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Just work it out. Now 
We'll be back in a few minutes and show you what we're going to do with this mixture. Okay, folks, now you see my assistant is going to, that's why we're using the parchment paper. We're going to roll this like a bunt cake. See how she's doing that? We're going to make a roll out of this whole thing, and then we're going to put it in our pot. Beautiful. She's got it almost all done. See that? That's why you need the parchment paper. There's a perfect roll. Look at that. Okay. So when you cut it up, folks, you're going to have a beautiful color going there. All right. We're going to put it in the pot, and we'll be right back. Okay, look at that roll. We took the parchment paper off as after we rolled it. Now, the ketchup comes into play. Now, I'm going to squirt the ketchup. Just like that, folks. And my assistant is going to cover it all as much as she can. And that's going to be your glaze. That's going to seal everything in there, all those juices. You can lightly grease the pan if you want, because you have some juices afterwards. Okay, folks, we are ready to bake. 350 preheated for one hour. And there you have it, folks. Delmonico's famous original meatloaf in the oven preheated 350 for one hour if the glaze starts to get too glazy we're going to put some aluminum foil after about 30 minutes we'll check it but we'll see you back here for some tasting in a little while okay folks here we go now i cut a piece off and i'm going to taste this meatloaf you can put a gravy on it, but I'm going to take it. Mm. Let me see. I'm going to have a little bit of the hash brown. Mmm. Mmm. Remember, Delmonico's original famous meatloaf, folks. You're going to enjoy this. Now remember, as the Italians say, Gene pronto. Dinner is ready. Everybody at the table, let's start eating. And we'll see you soon.